Worst injury you've ever gotten while forging? Well, I've got quite a few. Cut-off wheels. Had one fly apart, stuck in my forehead through my bandana. So I took a pair of vice grips, grabbed the hold of it, yanked it out. Ooh, and then I pulled my bandana off, and I had a slit into my skull. Forged in Fire is a TV show wherein bladesmiths would battle for $10,000. They make their best blades, which are put through many tests, such as the kill test and the strength test. With the many seasons that the show has had, there have been some really crazy moments. Welcome to Film Trip. In this video, we're going over 10 WOW moments on Forged in Fire. Before we begin, remember to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and wait to find out what made it to number 1. Number 10. Ben vs. a Carcass in this clip, Ben's weapon is the one being tested. This is the very first test. Your weapon will go up against two very large carcasses. Before the test, Ben is very visibly nervous and talks about how he had never made that style of weapon before and he'd never been able to test that type of construction. After a few slices and jabs into the carcass, the entirety of the weapon's blade separates from the rest of the weapon and gets stuck in the carcass. Like I said before, it was during the very first test that this weapon had ever been through, and I'm sure it was pretty shocking to Ben, as well as everyone there. Well, Ben, any warrior knows that if you leave a piece of shrapnel that big in a target, it's deadly. However, a warrior also knows that his weapon needs to be strong, and your blade has suffered a catastrophic failure in our very first test. And therefore, you cannot move forward in this competition. Come on, brother. Did a great job, man. Number 9. Backsword Kill Test This test was of the final two competitors' backswords. Both weapons had ended up doing well, and they were both able to cut the heads right off of their dummies in the kill test. Not only that, but they were sharp enough to puncture all the way through the dummies and deliver a large amount of damage to them. It's always very entertaining and wowing to watch well-made weapons during the kill test, especially when it ends with the dummies getting their heads cut off. Number 8. Chris vs. Field Obstacles This clip is of the final two bladesmiths that are left in the competition. They both created sabers. And this test isn't of what the weapon does to the obstacles, but what the obstacles do to the weapon. Chris's weapon was tested first, and Chris comments about how these tests are as extreme as they come. One of the judges started by chopping some wooden stakes covered in barbed wire. On the second chop, the entirety of the blade fell off. Not only that, but the blade bounced back and slightly grazed the judge. Luckily, the judge ended up being completely fine, but I can't say the same thing about Chris's weapon. Not only was the weapon's breaking surprising, but the fact that it actually rebounded and could have seriously hurt the judge would have given me a heart attack. That right here. Oh, Number 7. Ron vs. Ice This clip is during the very first test. This test is where a judge will vigorously cut into a large chunk of ice 10 times with your blade. Ron's blade was up first, and it was actually very promising. It had successfully chopped through 9 times, and there was only one more to go. Then, on the very last blow, Ron's blade split. The outer material had sheared from the inner steel. The knife had suffered too catastrophic of a blow, and Ron was out. I can't imagine how frustrating it would be to be so close, and yet on the very last hit, your weapon is out. Oh, Ron, this is definitely a big issue here. The material sheared right away from the, uh, the sprocket steel here. Ron, your blade has suffered a catastrophic blade failure in our strength test. Unfortunately, that means that your blade did not make the cut. I have to ask you to please leave the forge. Thank you. Number 6. Bob vs. a Ramrod In this clip, a contestant named Bob had his weapons go to the strength test. To really see if the weapon was on par with what they were looking for, the weapon was to be chopped into the ramrod 10 times. Bob was up first and he immediately was very nervous, as if he somehow knew what was about to happen. Before his weapon was even tested, he showed great concern and explained how steel can be finicky. He talked about how sometimes steel will hold up great, and other times, the steel will completely snap in your face. On the very first chop, his blade split right in half. 
Bob was of course disappointed and explained that he was still proud of himself for just being able to create a knife in such extraneous circumstances and in only three hours. Even though Bob had a great attitude about it, it was still pretty shocking to see a blade fail on the very first part of the very first test. And there she goes. Feel like a punch in the gut. Well, Bob, quite obviously, your blade broke. Bob, your blade suffered a critical failure in the very first strike of the very first test. Oops. For that reason, I have to ask you to please leave the forge. Number 5. Frankish Throwing Axes Kill Test This test was of the final two competitors. They both had made Frankish throwing axes. Both competitors' weapons were solid, making this a very memorable kill test. Both weapons were able to give deep cuts upon every blow. Both weapons were also able to completely crush the skulls of their dummies, resulting in gushes of fake blood going everywhere. Overall, this kill test was just one to remember, as it was so deadly. Number 4. Levi vs. Shield this clip was of the final challenge between Ashe and Levi. Ashe's weapon went first, and it successfully took 9 blows to the shield, so Levi's weapon needed to stay intact for more than 9 hits. However, it wasn't even close, as Levi's weapon broke on the first hit, making Ashe the winner. The stakes were so high, and it was just really surprising how Levi's weapon just completely bit it on the first blow. Number 3. Hanzo Katana Kill Test this clip is of the two finalists left in this competition. They were both tasked with making a Hanzo Katana, a weapon with only one mission, to kill. In the clip, they show both contestants' weapons against their respective dummies. Overall, both weapons held up well, and both were dubbed as able to kill. This kill test was just really entertaining to watch, and very wowing as both weapons seemingly obliterated their dummies. Number 2. Season 3, Episode 10's Worst Injuries This clip features stories from a ton of people who were on Season 3. They all talk about some of the worst injuries they've ever had while bladesmithing. And some of them sound unbearably painful. From burning metals getting on you, to blades getting stuck in your skin, to even accidentally getting sparks in your mouth. These injuries are intense. A lot of them I had never even thought about as a possibility of happening. Let's just say, hearing these stories is pretty wowing. Number 1. Spiked Mace vs. Kill Test This takes our number one spot for a very good reason. For this round, Sam and Jason, the contestants, were instructed to make a spiked mace. Once it got down to the kill test, Sam's weapon did well, and no spikes fell off. However, the handle was a little too large and could have resulted in harm to the wielder. When Jason's weapon was tested, five spikes broke off, but it still did well. When it came down to the strength test, Jason's weapon lost even more spikes, but it still was able to hold up. However, Sam's weapon's handle was so large, the judges decided it would just be too dangerous to even test it, as it could end up breaking someone's wrist. Because of that, Jason won and Sam's weapon lost by default. This was surprising because in every other way, Sam's weapon seemed to be a lot better. And it seemed like most watchers agreed, as people were publicly annoyed that Jason won, even though many of his spikes fell off. That was our list of 10 WOW moments on Forged and Fire. What did you think of the list? Which did you think was the craziest? Let us know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching Film Trip.